okay so let's go ahead and type a script for this so in the scripts folder let's create a new c sharp script by the name of ammo account press enter click on rifle info drag and drop the script right there okay let's wait for this i don't know why unity is a lot more slower these days okay so now drag and drop it okay there is the script let's open this up and let's remove these functions and since we will be dealing with the ui so make sure at the top you type unity engine.ui okay and then in here let's create reference to our ammo text so for that we will say ammunition text and then we need a reference to our magazine text so we will say mag text and after this we need to create a occurrence okay so that actually means that where the ammo decreasing will happen okay and that is on the rifle script whenever we shoot we decrease the ammo so for that we need the occurrence so we will say ammo count let's name this occurrence you can name this as instance as well if you want but i will name this as occurrence and then right down below we will create a awake function and in here this occurrence will be equals to this then down below let's create a function for updating the ammo so we will say public void update ammo text and this will be needing an integer which will be present ammunition okay and then the ammunition text dot text will be equals to ammo dot actually let's keep this inside double quotes so ammo dot present ammunition and this present ammunition will come from the rifle script okay it will be basically this present ammunition which will be equals to maximum ammunition which is 20 okay so after updating the ammo text we need to also update the magazine text so for that we will create a function by the name of update magazine text and in here we will say integer mag okay this will be needing our integer by the name of mag then we will say mag text dot text will be equals to magazines dot and then space and then plus mag and this mag will come from the rifle script so now let's pass these values to this ammo count so on the rifle script right here in the shoot function after playing this uh, everything okay or let's just do it up there we will update our ui so first of all we need to update the ammo so let's say ammo count dot occurrence dot update ammo text and it needs a present ammunition so we'll pass that to it okay right here as you will see after this we will say ammo count dot occurrence dot update mag text and now it needs the magazines so we will pass the mag in there and that is it now if we save the script i don't know why it is showing that but if we restart our unity that error will be gone but for now let's just ignore it right here it needs the ammunition text and the mag text so let's drag and drop the ammo text and the magazine text that is it let's check our rifle okay everything is set up already so now let's go ahead and play the game in the game mode ok 
okay we can see our name or text and that is because we have said that the mobile screen so for the PC let's let's actually click on simulator actually and let's click on this and make this bottom right sorry bottom center as you can see it is in the center but we need to just move it a little bit to that side so we see there it is let's move it a little bit to this position like this okay it looks good let's now change into game mode now we can see it in every screen position as you can see now if we try to shoot as you can see the ammo is decreasing and now we are reloading now the ammo is updated again as you can see it works now and the magazines are updating as well as you can see now we have 11 magazines left so it means that now this is working as well now we have a fully functional health bar a fully functional rifle information ui and now we need to fix one thing and let me show it to you if we come closer to the enemy okay as you can see it it he just shoot us really fast as you can see it doesn't wait for the time okay which we have assigned it for example time between shoot and also we had a problem with our shooting sound for the player AIs okay and I've told you that we will fix that in the future videos so now in the next video we will fix both of these problems so for that catch you guys in the next one